This is a video for how to go about creating a structural analysis of a cantilever beam from a given material in Fusion 360. You will notice that in Fusion 360 I have a blank design space and in order for us to start this I'm going to just click the save button and I'm going to call this cantilever beam and just say save. We also want to make sure that we are in inches when we start this. Now within your introduction to engineering design curriculum and you got if you got a materials pack you will notice we have different um, you know it's kind of these bars if you will they're technically rectangular prisms but we'll be doing putting doing some stress analysis on them you get like a steel bar a rubber uh, excuse me a plastic bar aluminum and then you have carbon fiber and one thing we want to pay attention to with the carbon fiber right now is just the dimensions and it's 12 by 1 by 1 8 so we're going to jump back to fusion and we're going to create a sketch on a plane and we have 12 by 1 8 by 1. We're going to go to two point rectangle and I'm going to start at the origin and I'm going to say 12 and I'm going to say tab and I'm going to go 1 8 of an inch. We're just going to go ahead and go the thickness at this point and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to hit E on my keyboard for extrude and we're going to find the uh, shape that we're going to extrude and we're going to say 1 and hit enter and we now have ourselves the same dimensions that we have on any one of these bars that have been given in the you know material pack uh, with your inter introduction to engineering design curriculum. So this plastic right in here is kind of want to want to take a look at because within my classroom we do a lot of 3D printing with PLA but for the sake of this particular testing we're going to use ABS plastic because it's a given material within Fusion 360. So we're going to change the material of this bar to ABS plastic. So we're going to go to modify and we're going to go to physical material and a menu is going to load on the right hand side of your screen and we're going to go down to plastic and you're going to see ABS plastic right here. We're going to drag out and drop ABS plastic onto this bar. Now we're done with the design portion because really all we wanted was just to get ourselves the same dimensions and a material that we are familiar with before we went in and did some testing. So after we're done with the design environment we're going to go down to the simulation environment and we go to simulation you're kind of get a brand new workspace and you get this thing for a new study and we're going to find out what the static stress is on this bar so we're going to go to create study and we go to create study you will see that the bar loads into our work environment we're going to place some constraints on the object now to give you a physical representation of what this is going to look like this is the exact same dimensions of a bar that we just placed and we're going to put a constraint on the end you can see right here it's got a clamp here on the end and we went and put some parts from the um, trammel toy these are some PLTW parts that we ordered for the trammel toy and just try to place them on the end and try to see what you know the displacement or deflection would be on a cantilever beam if we placed some you know weight on it and how the this would respond in relationship to the others we 3d printed this beam out of ABS plastic and used 100% infill when we printed the beam so now we're back into this environment we're gonna go to constraints and I want to flip around here on the other side and all I really want to see is just this surface right here that'd be a little bit easier if I could go into an isometric view like this and when we go to constraints we're gonna go to structural constraints and I'm gonna click here on the end and that's gonna give us a fixed constraint there'll be a reaction force um, in the vertical and the horizontal direction both at the X and the Y and we're gonna say okay and I'm gonna click on my house button and come back and we're gonna go to loads and I wanna go to structural loads and there's all these different loads you can place but we're gonna place just force on the object and I'm gonna tap right here we found that it was about you know 12% of a pound 0.12 pounds is what we found we actually went and weighed these objects so we weighed each one of these little trammel toy you know base plates and they're about 0.12 pounds. So when I come back into uh, Fusion, I want to go and change this to pounds, change our units to pounds, and I'm going to put in, you know, 0.12 over here on the side. That's 12. So I'll take away that other decimal place, 0.12 pounds, and I'm going to say OK. Now, we've placed for ourselves a constraint, and we've placed for ourselves a load. Now we want to go ahead and solve for the forces, because we want to see it do the math of, of the displacement safety factor and stress and things like that so we're gonna say solve and before I click solve one study I'm gonna click solve one study and then I'm gonna pause the recording it'll go you'll see it, it start and you'll see it starts a process in the cloud and it'll be in a status bar right here it hangs about 30 
percent for a little while then it starts to go so I'm gonna press pause until it's done and we'll come back to the video okay after waiting for about two minutes maybe two and a half minutes I now have a complete simulation of the static stress placed on our beam and I'm gonna to go to results and you'll notice over here on the right hand side right now it's just in safety factor about you know the safety factor you could have chosen for creating this object and I'm just gonna to go to a front view right here and it gives us you know a maximum you know and minimum safety factor what we want to go to is go to displacement and then we want to switch this to inches and within inches right now it's going to say that you know with you know just the adjusted deformation on the object it's going to say right at about a half of an inch which is really interesting because my students when we measured using rulers the distance from a linear distance from this point with only one of these on it down to the you know the end of the displacement if i could just get a vertical line here that would um, then a vertical line over here we found that it displaced about a half an inch it's not going to be completely perfect but with abs plastic with 100 percent infill we were able to go into fusion and get pretty darn close to what the maximum displacement would be it's pretty interesting to see up here where it says deformation you can go to adjusted two times and you'll see that it will actually show the adjustment on that object you can't really change it any at all you can kind of get an idea of where the adjustment would be if you like shortened it but here is your exact displacement based upon the weight and the load that you placed on the object you can also animate the stress acting on the object a lot of pretty cool things you can record this and create a recording for it you can go into a new mesh display to show how it's broken down into more finite elements um, you can come in here and uh, manage different things with the cases and things like that things I won't get into in this video you can have two separate ones going at the same time and compare them left to right a lot of really 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 neat things that you can do with this uh, stress analysis now the last thing I will go over is when you go to result tools you can go down to report and you can actually run a report of all the different stresses acting on the object you can name the report so for the sake of discussion I'm just gonna call this you know um, video I'm just gonna call this video because I'm making a video about a report and I'm gonna go to generate when I go to generate I'm gonna say and I'm gonna save this on the desktop of my computer and it's gonna auto load for me and you know I don't really need to see that it'll load and bing and here we go a nice little printout of all the data that we got from doing the stress analysis it's a pretty neat thing now notice how it's not really showing any displacement here because I believe I kept it here if I went to deformation and then came over and ran another one I would get a full report I can also get a report adjusted for five times which is a little ridiculous I mean that physically would not be able to hold if I put five of these on here but if I put two of them on there you can see how you know it's pretty darn close to what it actually winds up looking like in the physical environment this is an excellent lesson to do just showing how accurate something like fusion is to the physical world and how you can use this for things other than just design you can use this for full simulations in other videos I have we talk about generative design a lot of cool things you could do on the artistic side with animations and renderings but within the simulation function it's an excellent way to teach about the properties of the different materials and you can go in and do different materials in fusion there's carbon fiber infusion there's aluminum infusion um, just there's basic plastics there's other 3d things like nylon but within my class we wanted to 3d print actual plastic that has the actual physical properties that are given already you know by default in fusion so this has been a video for how to go about doing a stress analysis on a cantilever beam from a specific material such as ABS plastic in Fusion 360.